we want to talk about one thing that I think will be essential to have for every Circle member, anyone who is interested in EMF mitigation and who owns a phone, which is, you know, m still most of our members probably own one. And that's the, C is it Safe Charger? Just Safe yeah. Charger. Safe Charger. Yeah, almost missed it there. So the Safe Charger, Brian, you told me about it last month or maybe, you know, six weeks ago in a, in a discussion. I was excited because it's kind of the, the number one product that I feel has the widest appeal for the shielding shop that you've created. Let us know about, you know, what is emitted by our everyday phone chargers that could be detrimental to our biology and how have you worked to design something that can prevent that problem from happening? Yeah, well, I, I can, I can tell you that like, one of the major issues we have whenever we go to people's homes is we'll, we'll have, they'll have cell phone chargers plugged in with the USB cable plugged in to the wall. And it's just next, right next to the bed, next to the child's bed, next to the parent's bed, maybe underneath the bed and they just leave everything plugged in. And, uh, I don't think Ben will care. Ben, I was at Ben Greenfield's, uh, house last week doing we were shooting a video for a video podcast that we're releasing about me consulting on his house for all the emf stuff mm -hmm. and like that was like the main thing that was going on in his bed even though he had like a fully shielded room like he had all these usb things and <laughs> and, and devices that were plugged in right underneath where he sleeps and uh it was causing all these electric fields and so like like i had the i had the new safe chargers uh like, like with me. And I was like, here, plug this in, let's plug all this stuff in. And we had all of them loaded up and plugged in. So everything was still working and charging, but we brought it down from like 3000 millivolts down to zero millivolts. Uh, and just by replacing it with, with, uh, with the correct charger. And this is one of them. This is the one we called the hub 45. And this one has three USB ports and one USB C port. The USB-C port by itself provides 45 watts of, of charging power. So this can charge, charge any MacBook Air. It can charge fast charge any cell phone, whether it's Samsung or iPhone. Those only use 20 watts of, for fast charging. And then these ports, like, like it will downgrade if you're plugging all of those and here, it will downgrade the wattage on the top port. But, um, but all of these ports provide uh, slow charging power. And you kind of want slow charging power if you're going to plug it in all night long. You don't want to like fast charge it unless you really have to, like on your phone, because uh, it will reduce like the life of the battery. That's why like with this one, this is a 65 or 63 watt uh, charger. This will do MacBook Pros. And I think, Michael, you mentioned in, in the comments here that uh, that you needed a solution for your MacBook Pro electric fields. This will solve that. You plug your USB right into this and then right into your, your MacBook Pro and it will ground the computer. And same thing with any, you know, Ultrabooks. A lot of them have USB-Cs as well. If you have an Ultrabook laptop, um, anything with USB-C power, iPads, tablets, whatever, you plug them into this, it grounds the USB cable and, uh, and there's no electric fields on that cable anymore and no electric fields on the device anymore. So it, it solves all those problems. You can leave them plugged in right next to the bed. It's not going to raise your body voltage. In some cases, it might actually even lower your body voltage because you have something grounded that's close by. So, and I'm going to show you guys a demonstration of this too. Um, but it's, it's, it's pretty simple, you know, and I can, I can show you like what we, what we do here to test this. But um, let me just get my, the settings set up here. So this, I got my multimeter here and it tests, I've got it on the continuity testing. So like it'll beep when I touch these two things together. And if I test the, uh, I'll test this one. If I test the ground here, I'll, uh, I'll put this probe up to, up to here and then I'll test the ports. Each port is grounded. See, I've got it connecting to the third prong there. So all the ports are, are grounded. 
and in a normal one, they're not. You know, this one, this charger here doesn't even have a, a ground at all. And so these ports are gonna leak electric fields onto the wires. And we can test that. You know, I've got something set up right back here to show everybody this demonstration. This one's the more profound demonstration is that I've got a safe charger plugged in here. And then I've got this other charger that uh, even has three prongs and it's got the USB ports here. You plug it in got really high electric fields there but over here I've got nothing on this one and it's even got it's even got a light lights on these are like LED strip lights so this is a flicker free option here there's no electric fields on this one and a ton on this one so a lot of times people have this like plugged in right next to their bed and it's causing all these crazy electric fields on their bed when they don't really need to have anything. So like think about how many times you're holding your phone when, when it's charging, you know, and uh, like, like, uh, or you need to, you need to have do a fast charge, like, especially for travel, it's really handy because you'll often do like, like, uh, some of those ports at the airport, you can't even stick a normal charger in with two prongs because it won't stay in. The ports are so loose and on airplanes, but when you have a three prong, it'll stick in and it won't fall out. How many of you guys have experienced that? Cause I've experienced that a lot when I'm trying to charge my phone or charge a power bank or whatever. Uh, it doesn't stay in, but this will stay in. Uh, you can fast charge. It'll go like from zero to 50% in like 20 minutes. And, uh, no EMF and you can hold your phone and your phone's grounded while you're, while you're uh, using it. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, you know, I am the co-creator of the EMF circle along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from shielded healing. What you saw today, this short video is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our circle members. Every month we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q and a session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q and A's that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a cars masterclass class. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.